Right. We're gonna have a chat about bus drivers. I fucking hate them. Hate them all. Actually, I don't hate them all. There was this one bus driver when I was about 15 that used to drive me to school all the time and used to be really nice. Like, sometimes he'd let me on the bus for free so I can go and get some breakfast from Subway. He'd be like, oh, save you three pounds, go and get a breakfast sub. The guy was cool. Might have been a pedophile, who knows. Apart from that, however, the rest of you can go fuck yourself. I came home from uni like a few months ago, like two months ago, and I was, I was trying to get on the bus. Bear in mind, I've been traveling. This was like, I'd moved most of my stuff home, but I still had like two suitcases. I think this was actually when I came home from LA. So I had a suitcase, I had another suitcase full of stuff from my uni. I'm very stressed. I've been traveling for about an hour and a half. Two fucking suitcases right down the side of me, walking like a penguin. All I want to do is get on this bus and go home. I'm one bus away. I've been on trains all day carrying all my stuff. I want to get on one bus to go home. And I had a 10 pound note here to go, a single two where I'm going, which is about four pound. And what does he say? Sorry, mate, I've got no change. I can't get on this bus. Sorry, sorry, what? I can't get on this This guy refused me entry on this bus because he didn't have change. It's your job to have money, you fucking idiot. Don't go fucking McDonald's and ask for a cheeseburger, but they say no because we've got no fucking buns. Like, it's their job to have buns. It is your job to have change. And it's not even the fact they won't even say like, oh no, you can't get on this bus. They give you full on fucking attitude. They're like, well, maybe you should have had the correct change. Maybe you should have prepared for this beforehand. Maybe you should have done better in life and not ended up as a fucking bus driver, you twat. I just hate bus drivers. I've never met a nice bus driver except for that one dude when I was about 15. Everyone else seems to be in crippling depression. Like, they just talk to you like they're like, they've got nothing going for them. They hate their life and they're gonna go home and get beaten up by their wife. No, shout out to Ariva though. Yo, I bought this bus ticket on my phone, so when I go to get on the bus, I just show my phone. But then when I jailbroke my phone, it didn't work. But then... I tweeted them like, yo, what can I do here? And they're like, well, maybe Jay, you, maybe you shouldn't have your phone jailbroken. I was like, well, you know what, Ariba? So anyway, my phone's still jailbroken and I got it to work, so. GG, Ariba. I just really don't like bus drivers. There's this, right, oh, get on my bus home nowadays. There's this fucking, there's this one road and there's a speed bump, okay? And it's always the same like free bus drivers. Surely after the first time you go over this speed bump, you know not to go fast over it. Does he fucking do that? No. I feel like this is the one thing he looks forward to in his day. In his like one hour journey where he drives from point A to point B. That one speed bump is his favorite fucking thing because he gets to fuck everyone over on the bus. Because all of a sudden as he's driving, he goes, oh, here it comes. And everyone on the bus has a fucking miniature heart attack because he goes over the speed bump about 60 miles per hour. We get fucking air for about 10 seconds. Why can't he just be like a train driver? Do you ever see a train driver? No. He's always at the front of the train, minding his own business, doing his job.